Yes, um, so today we're going to be looking at um, the Maleficent figure. Um, I'll just start by saying that the box is really cool. As you can see, it's got the, um, like the thorn effect and it's got the um, image and it feels, um, it's got rough feeling to it um, around all the thorn areas, um, which is really cool. And that just continues all down the box at the back where it's just simply white and it's got um, a picture of a dragon there. So, um, it's a really cool box um, and the silver is really cool too. Alright, let's move on to the figure herself. Uh, yes, the Disney magic. Yes, today we are um, looking, having a quick look at Melissa Fent, um, the Hot Toys 1 is to 6 scale figure. Um, overall she's pretty cool. She doesn't come with a lot, like you can see um, she has a staff there with a lot of, with a lot of detail. Um, she has her um, crow minion set on the staff as well. Um, I put this part back in the box because it's so small, but um, this top part here just lifts off and you can have the staff without the, without the um, crow on it. It doesn't have the hole for the um, translucent plastic either. The head sculpt as you can see is pretty impressive. Um, definitely looks like Angelina Jolie It's Maleficent. Um, this top part here is on a bit of a, a wire so you can um, spread them out if you want to. Um, she does come with two of these, one for her left hand, one for her right hand. They are um, labelled which one they're supposed to go on. Um, she does obviously, like many Hot Toys, come with several different hands. Um, I left all the other hands in the box, but um, you can see her right hand has the ring on it, um, which is quite well done. It's just a bit hard to get up to focus in there. Um, so yeah, all the right hands have the have the ring. Um, so you can display her, um, let's strain the ring a bit better than I've got there. Um, the extra, the longer bit of the gown is actually, um, an accessory. It clips on to, it clips on to, um, the back. There's about five or six, um, clips that you just plug in. It was quite tricky to do. Um, as you can see, it makes her dress look incredibly long, and it's um, quite cool. And it's wide as well, so you can have it up or so, um, due to that. So, um, like I said, it's a really simple figure, so not a lot to really talk about. Um, Articulation-wise, it's pretty good as well. The costume doesn't really hinder anything. Um, you can see it's got a cool shine to it. Um, the only thing I suppose is a complaint is that obviously the cradle has to go um, to hold her properly. It has to go up her dress, um, which makes it look a bit bulgy where the actual crouch stand is, but um, you can probably just Pat it out, um, just pull it out a bit because this whole section here has wire through it so you can um, twist the dress. Um, yeah, I picked her up for um, $3.20 um, from my local game traders. I wasn't originally going to get her um, until I saw. It is quite hard as well um, to get her to stand Ugh, because of the way it is. Um, I'll just show off some extra detail as well. Um, her shoes, 
her boots kind of have that um, claw look going to it. Um, you can see the the bone looks kind of looks like dragon feet, I guess. Um, you can see the claw goes out there. Um, that's the reason why it's so hard to get her to stand. Um, because they're also heels, there's practically no way um, you can get her to stand without the stand, and the staff um, adds a fair bit of weight to her. Um, um, yeah, it is quite hard to get her to stand um, because of those heels. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't originally going to get her, but um, I saw how good she looked in hand, and it was the last one. Um, so I decided to decided to grab her. Um, I will post the anime exchange link because I know they're a bit cheaper than um, the game traders that I got it from. Um, so yeah, really cool, um, pretty simple outfit, but like it's really sparkly and um, it's really cool. You got the uh, detailing there, and it um, appears on her spine as well. I know a lot of people complain that she didn't come with the wings that she used in the end of the film, but um, I don't mind that. Um, it'd probably make it even harder to stand or um, take up a lot more display area than she already does if um, she had those. But um, yeah, overall she's um, pretty cool. I'll probably um, take down a couple of um, stormtroopers and just place them around her um, like that, just to make it look a bit, just so um, it's, the shelf's not so empty. But um, and obviously Disney owns Star Wars now, so it's not entirely um, impossible. Um, just a couple of quick things before I finish. Um, I know that Sideshow was shipping Gamora um, on Tuesday for Australia, Monday for the US. So um, we should see her in Australia pretty soon. Um, and obviously Sideshow have already started um, shipping the Stormtroopers. As far as I know, it's only the single pack that Sideshow have started shipping. Not too sure on the double, which probably could be why we haven't seen them in Australia. Um, so yeah, not entirely sure on that. But um, if I get or um, more information, or if I see more information, um, I'll let you guys know. All right, thanks for watching, guys.